Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another five minute card video. Today I'm gonna to show you a fun inking technique and I'm going to make a card using our new Botanical Duo die set. So I'm going to start with some grass green ink and I'm going to smoosh it on to this uh, acrylic block. Now this acrylic block is in our collection it's a great block for this technique, but you can use any rectangular block or any square block. The first color I used was grass green, and then I moved to some tranquil teal, and now I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of wild lilac. Now I'm gonna go back and add a little more tranquil teal just over the line there, and a little more grass green over the line between those two colors as well. Now I'm going to take the Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer, Distress Sprayer, and I'm going to just do a light mist over it. I'm going to, going to do it away from my cardstock so I don't get it all over my cardstock. And I'm going to stamp this onto a piece of white cardstock that I cut out using the Master Layouts 2 die set. So I'm going to give this a quick spritz. And then I'm going to try my best to place this in the center. And I'm going to let it sit there for just a minute so that all of that ink can transfer to the cardstock. There we go. Now I'm gonna take this piece of cardstock and I'm going to dry it using my heat tool. It doesn't take very long to dry it but you want to have it dry so that you can add your other pieces. And I go back and forth between the front and the back to try to eliminate some of the warping. Okay. Now, if you wanted to fill that in, you could go back and add a little bit more water to this in these areas right here. Let's see what that looks like. I'll try to do that. Just give it a little bit of a spritz and just touch those areas in there. Just add a little bit more. And that just darkened it up a little bit. It's easy to see right through that acrylic block. So this card, again, may be a little bit longer than five minutes, but that's okay because it's still a quick technique and a fun card to make. Okay, so now once I have that dry, then what I can do is I can get some tape and I can tape this onto a black panel. Now, because I've used water and I, it was a little bit wet and then I embossed, well, I didn't emboss it, but I heated it up with my heat tool, it can make it a little bit warped. So I suggest using a little bit of extra tape just to really flatten that panel down. All right, so we've got that on there. And then this whole panel is going to go on to a white card base. So I'm gonna put that on there now. Then what I've done is I've cut out one of the Botanical Duo dies. I use this one here and I cut it out so it looks like that. I'm gonna place that onto my card like that with a little bit of Gina K Designs Connect Glue. This is a great glue, especially in these fine tip bottles to use for a project like this because you can really get all around the perimeter of these very, very skinny little die cuts. Makes it very easy to work with these. And you do wanna kind of go all the way around at least the perimeter of the die cut. You can go inside a little bit too if you want, but you definitely wanna get all the points around the outside. And then what we're gonna do here it's really sticky glue, it's stuck to me. We're going to place it just off to the side here on the card, like that. And just tack that down into place. Then I've cut the friend and shadow die, and this one is from Master Layouts 9. And I'm going to place that right here 
at the bottom of this botanical. So once again, I'm gonna use the Connect Glue. It's just an easy, quick way to get this die cut piece onto my card front. Okay, and I'm gonna place that just down here, almost like it's growing out of the word friend. I'm just gonna press that down. There we go. Okay. Then I've used one of the uh, birthday babble. I'm sorry, this is from Mixed Messages, actually. The Thinking of You. I cut this out from our Mixed Messages sentiment strips, and I've added just little half pieces of the Gina K Designs and ThermoWeb black foam squares. And I cut this out using the sentiment strips dies. And I'm just gonna pop this right on top here. Thinking of you, friend. There we go. And that is my finished card project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick card project and I hope you'll give it a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos and more Stampin' Chat live videos too. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great day.